ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scott Gymnasium here in Trinidad, Colorado. This is day three of the 87th annual Trinidad State College Basketball Tournament. This is the longest running tournament in Colorado, which is pretty exciting. We got four games on tap for you. We're about to get started with the Lady Walsenberg Panthers taking on the Lady Bulldogs from Primero. I'm sure we'll have our national anthem here in just a minute. Before we get there, I want to introduce all of our crew for today. I'm joined on our main camera and a little color commentary, the one and only Destiny Archuleta. How are you doing, Destiny? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you, Mr. Rudd? I'm doing great. Destiny is a junior at Branson, our first high school student on staff. Actually, no, Tate Baker helped us out yesterday, which is pretty awesome. We have Brody Doherty running the production and working with his kind of partner in crime today. Elijah McBride will be running the remote camera. We're going to have some special views for you. All right, as we get going, we will get starting lineups for you here in just a second. And Primero controls the tip. Nice block by the Lady Panthers. That's Padilla coming down the floor. Gets down into that corner. Quick shot by number two. And that is a quick turnover. All right, folks, we are still working on getting some of our lineups figured out and straightened out. I'm going to hand it over to Destiny to do some quick play-by-play. -play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have the Panthers passing the ball around. Oh, shoot. Good job, Destiny. Now we're back. Got a little bit of clarification there from the man with the information. That number two, that is Bobian. She led the Lady Panthers in scoring in their game a couple days ago. Here she comes down the floor. Padilla has it on the right wing. Coming back up. Picks up her dribble. She's looking for a little help. Looks back to Bobby and she's got a Stop it before it goes out of bounds, and now they get to take it right underneath the basket. Anytime that happens, folks, you want to touch the ball. You'd rather get a backcourt violation. It's a half-line, half-court side out. Good effort by the Primero Bulldogs. Padilla's got it now. Still working on a couple of production glitches. We'll get a little better on the microphone as we progress. Quick reach in foul by number 11, J Jaleesa Atkins. is gonna have it underneath. There's our new live view from Elijah McBride on the camera. Always trying to up our production quality a little bit for you. Primero gets it into Maldonado. Nice little runner is good. And that's Maldonado's first bucket of the night.
Ruiz has it coming on down. Back to Bobian. Here come the Bulldogs, transition offense. Maldonado doing it again. Quick timeout by Coach Lester Berry. We're gonna take our first time out here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. Hear from our sponsor of the day, Coley's Pastries and Bakery. Christmas season is here, and at Coley's Cakes and Pastries, the holidays are in full swing. Stop by our location on Commercial Street for a sweet treat, or place a pre-order for any of our fantastic Christmas-themed cookies and cakes. Coley's also offers desserts for all occasions, including weddings and graduations, along with birthday parties. If you need a treat to welcome in the holidays, stop by Coley's, the best bakery in Southern Colorado. Welcome back to the broadcast, folks. You're going to see a lot of Coley's Bakery today. They opted to be a sponsor of every game here on day three here at the TSC tournament. Bulldogs up to a quick 4-2 lead with about five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Destiny, what do you think is going to be the key to the game for these teams? Um, I honestly think just running fast on the court and just getting your layups in. There you go. Nice defense by the Bulldogs. Transition bucket by number 15, Amy Mincic. Her first points of the night. Bobian picking up her dribble soon. Ruiz coming up to help her. She finds her. Ruiz going to make her way down the court. Trapped in the corner. McCorkle on the steal. Another layup attempt. And that is going to send number 15, Amy Mincic, to the line. It looks like we got a quick substitution. That's number 25 headed to the bench, Jocelyn Rivera. There was, she attempted a little half court trap, I think caught a forearm to the nose. A little bit of blood on her uh, lip gonna have to get attended to by the training staff before she'll be allowed to return. Second shot, no good. Padilla with the rebound. She finds Ruiz, looking to break that press. There's Bobian. McCorkle with another turnover. Quick hands of Bobian. She's got an open layup attempt. And it's good. Good heads up play. She's got four points now for the Lady Panthers. That was Mincic, I'm sorry, Atkins on the shot attempt. Mincic's gonna back it up. Sophomore here on this Primero squad. Oh, and the pass to Maldonado just a little out of reach. Here comes Bobby and looks like they're backing off the full court press. Pass out in front of Ruiz. She's going to have to chase that down. Not quite able to get to it. Halfway through period number one. Bulldogs up seven to four. Corkle gets it into Mitzik. Going to be picked up by Bobian. Mitzik's going to drive into the key. Nice little give and go. Hard fought rebound by Monarco. Maldonado's jumper way short. Bobin with the rebound. She's gonna go to the left hand. Again, overpassing Ruiz. And that will be a turnover in favor of the Bulldogs. Bobian's gonna pick up Mincic full court. Try to apply a little pressure.
There's a turnover the Panthers were looking for. Bo beat again. Ruiz has the left key back to Bobian. They're going to swap places. Bobian's going to work down into the left. Tries to get it into Martinez. She has it, and that pass intercepted by Midzik. And she's wolfed by Bobian. Nice hustle by the freshman. Quick pass up to Padilla. She's going to dribble in. She's going to look baseline. Back out to Bobian. Long three. Just short. Martinez with the rebound. Put back is good. We got a one-point ball game here in Trinidad. Monarco with the shot attempt. Off the back iron. Maldonado got the rebound. Back out to Mincic at the left wing. Bobian with the quick hands. Kind of loose. We're going to have a jump ball here. Post up near the logo. On the logo, really. Checking in, we have number 24 senior, Aliciana Garcia for Primero. And Minsick taking a little bit of a breather. Here comes Bobian again. Padilla working down the right side in a little bit of trouble, waiting for some help. Good patience there. Back to Padilla. She's going to bring it up to the top of the key. Bobian now, right wing. Picked by Monarco. Monarco's going to bring it up. Looking for some help. She finds Isabella Maldonado, leading scorer for the Bulldogs. That's Garcia with the ball. Inlet pass to Monarco in the paint. And that is a double dribble call. Lady Panthers getting an opportunity here. They could potentially take the lead on this possession. Padilla's shot, nice open jumper is good. I called it. What do you say, Destiny? I said they could take the lead on this possession. Yes, they and can. they did. I better buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Kind of a swiping foul, I believe that's going to be on number 12, Lauren Ruiz. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was on Bobian. That was on Bobian, her first foul. I was incorrect. It's like I'm not as close as the refs are. Anyway, Monarco, inlet pass, shot no good. Good scrum jump ball off that rebound. Possession arrow belonging to the Bulldogs. McCorkle's going to inbound. Nice shot. Just a little long for Romero. Maldonado off the glass. Just long. Rebound by number 11, Romero. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I called number 11 by the wrong name on... Bulldogs, lots of 11s today. Nice shot just off the mark for Bobby. And here comes Isabella Maldonado. She goes down, nice court vision, finds McCorkle. Credit Maldonado with the assist. Nice little shot by Skyler McCorkle. Yeah, I was looking up her first name. It always takes me about a quarter to learn the names, so I kind of stumble and struggle a little bit. That pass for Martinez, just a little off. Bobian with a nice little steal. Shot is long, only two seconds to go here as we wrap up. The first quarter, your score, Bulldogs up 
9 to 8. We're going to take a quick break here from our next sponsor of the day, LARCC Truck. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Welcome back, folks. About 20 seconds to go here. Destiny, what are your thoughts on this game so far? You know, this game, both of these teams both have equally great skills, I think, and I feel like they just really need to focus on their passes because those seem like those have been getting them behind. Yeah, it's always really interesting on these younger teams as they learn to be patient. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody in basketball wants to play as fast as you can when it's really a slow, patient sport if you can do it. Yeah. Play athletically, but play patiently which is hard to do when you have a defender right in your face. Yeah, steal exactly. Basketball. <laughs> easier said than done. It's easy for us up in the booth to yeah, describe very easy. how it should be done because, you know, we are subject matter experts <laughs> in such things. As we start the second quarter, Ruiz, nice skip pass over to Padilla. She had him in it. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Strong arms of number 24, Garcia, ripping the ball right away. Here comes Mincic, gets the ball to Maldonado. Shot from the free throw line, no good. Bobian with the board. She's going to be picked up just about half court by Mincic. She's going to find Padilla. Couple of dribbles in. Bobian's thinking about it, gets it over to Ruiz. She's gonna pull the trigger on a long three. Almost banks it in. Skyler McCorkle with the board, gets it over to Amy Mincic coming up on the left side, guarded by Bobian. There's Garcia, nice shot, just short. Maldonado with the rebound and is gonna get fouled by number 11, Shaylin Romero. First shot by Maldonado was good. Second one, shooter's rim. Comes in, Isabella Maldonado now with six points on the afternoon. Leading all scorers. Bobian's pass, a little high, chased down by Skylar McCorkle. Eventually finds its way to Amy Mitzik coming across the timeline. Inlet pass to Garcia is good. Little right turnaround layup where it needs to be for Garcia. She was one of the seniors on this Primero squad. That was her first bucket. Good effort. Jump ball possession this time belongs to the Bulldogs. Corkle's going to inbound it. She's looking, finds Garcia. Mincic's got a nice lane. Left hand driving layup is good for Amy Mincic. She's got four points tonight. Ruiz is looking for help. Full court press by the Bulldogs. Quarterback pass. Padilla reins it in. She's going to find. Yes, almost there. Martinez with the putback attempt. Not quite. Maldonado with the board. Finds Garcia. Skyler McCorkle rebound is off the mark. And we are going to get a foul. 
and they're going to call it in the act of shooting. Maldonado is headed to the line again. That foul on Shaylin Romero, her second. First time at the charity stripe. Two for two, that particular trip to the line for Maldonado. Ruiz, nice inlet pass to Bobian. She finds Martinez. Oh, tell you what, McCorkle is just good defensively. Those long arms, quick on the draw. She's had several steals to her credit this evening. Good hustle by Bobian, still comes... And that is the third foul, folks, on Shaylin Romero. Unfortunately, you can't box out <laughs> while somebody is shooting. You have to wait for the ball to leave their hands. There's our remote cam view from Elijah McBride. Whoop. And I think we had a lane violation. That'll be a turnover. And here come the Lady Panthers. Bobian working her way down the floor. Nice head of steam. Finds Martinez, able to wrangle it in. Ruiz has it. Quick hands to Amy Mincic. Finds her cutter. And it's good. That's number 11, Jaleesa Atkins with her bucket. Give Mincic the assist. Bobian has it. Looks like a little full court man defense. And we got Coach Barry calls a timeout. We'll take a timeout of our own. Let's hear from Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Close up on the free throws. You know, it's still, there's not much going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're back. You got a little behind baseball, working on camera angles and views and different things here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. So, Destiny, we just got off of a week, a week long Thanksgiving break. Mm -hmm. Not all schools get to do that. Did your family do anything fun or exciting over Thanksgiving? Um, you know, we just had Thanksgiving at my grandma's house, and my auntie came down from North Carolina, and it was a nice little get-together. Cool. Yeah. Does your family have any unique or different or unexpected or particularly fun Thanksgiving traditions? Um, you know, not really, honestly. We just have a traditional American Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, just lots of overeating? Yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent, yes. <laughs> All right, back to the action. Bobian working it, guarded by Mincic, contains, controls her dribble there, tries to find some help. Bounces off referee, <laughs> referee Dave. I, I, David Stephen. Yeah, Santa Stephen. I'm sitting there going, Dave, what's his last name? <laughs> and here we go. Bobian, nice shot. Oh, just off the mark. Maldonado with the rebound. Mincic bringing it down, guarded by Bobin. She's got to be careful. And that's a foul. You could tell just how aggressive she was on that particular trip. They're probably going to end up in a defensive foul. Her second, only five players suited up here for the Lady Panthers. So they've got to be careful about their foul situation. Amy Mincic coming down. Shot by Garcia just off the mark. Bobian moving. Falls into the 
her team's bench. Good hustle by the freshman. Nice take by Primero, not quite there. And again, that was number 11, Shaylin Romero. Similar thing, she's trying to box out just a little too soon. Got to wait for the player to not only let go of the ball, but to actually come down safely before you begin to box out. That's her fourth foul. The other interesting thing, folks, is that is the fifth foul of the quarter, instantly sending Primero to the double bonus as Maldonado connects on her first. That's a new rule change this year. There are no one and ones after 17 fouls in a half. It's by quarter, and once a team reaches five, the other team, five team fouls. And that is number 25, Jocelyn Rivera with the bucket. Hey, after the 15 foul, the other team immediately gets double bonus two shots. And that was Skylar McCorkle. I'm sorry, Amy Minsick. She now has seven points in the afternoon. Now that was kind of right underneath us here in the booth. You know, here at Scott Gymnasium, we are up on the second floor. And sometimes when things happen right at our feet, we can't exactly see what's going on. Mincic, nice drive. It's going to be last touched by. Oh, I have a YouTube uh, comment saying that number 11 is actually not Shaylin Romero. Okay. I'm guessing. That should be Lesser. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Uh, put that correct name for us down in the in the YouTube comments. Again, we're working on the best info we've got. A lot of this is actually from Max Preps, and not all teams have updated their info this year. Some of them have, some of them haven't. We'll verify that with the scorebooks here. And again, we appreciate the audience participation. Quick turnover, Maldonado is going to find Garcia. Another bucket, Garcia getting the job done. We got a timeout here. We are going to take a timeout of our own. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. Big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. Again, thank you to our listening audience for getting us the proper names of our players. This is an interactive viewing experience. You know, Destiny, you don't get that on ESPN, do you? Hmm? You know, where you can actually comment and interact with the commentators on ESPN or, you know, NBC Sports or Monday Night Football. Although that would be really cool. It would be cool yeah. <laughs> right here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. We're even getting pronunciation guides in the YouTube comments. We really appreciate <laughs> that. We'll make sure Deja Lesser is properly given credit. Here we go back to the action as Bobian and the Panthers look to claw back into this one. Ruiz back to Bobian. Corner three is good. She has six points this evening. Garcia has it. Ball finds its way into Maldonado. Her turnaround, Jay, no good. Maldonado with the board. Back out to number 25, Jocelyn Rivera. Gets it into a cutting midsick. Luke's ball finds Maldonado, and she finds the bottom of the nylon. And that is 11 points. First player in double digits here today.
Bobian working her way down. Lesser, her pass intercepted. Here comes Mincic. She's got Skylar McCorkle deep, hits Lesser in the back with the basketball inadvertently. Romero still has it. Garcia now up at the right wing. Guarded tight by Ruiz. Finds Maldonado. Nice little elbow jumper. Rims in. That's a lucky 13 for Maldonado. About a minute and a half to go here in the first half. Bobby and working her way down the floor. Ruiz trying to set a nice little screen there. Running into trouble. She finds a... Lesser wide open shot, not quite there. Garcia's gonna run the floor. Padilla and Ruiz on the stop. Maldonado chases down the long pass. There's Rivera, just off on the shot. Maldonado, good again. I believe that's 15 for Isabella Maldonado. Yep, defense by Amy Mincic, just a little too aggressive, a little bit of a shove. That will get you a personal. Her second foul, only the first team foul by the Bulldogs here in this second quarter. 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Shot just off the mark. And here comes Atkins. Rivera's shot looking good, and it is. Under 20 now. Bobian still working. Picks up her dribble, looking for help. Three seconds to go. Point one second left. What do you think, Destiny? You think we're gonna have a buzzer beater here? Um, That's you know, I hope so. <laughs> well, a tenth of a second. You gotta be tenth pretty quick second, on yeah. the draw. Gotta pretty like quick flash. on the draw. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a few commercial breaks. And in about 10 minutes from now, we'll be back with the second half of action here on game number nine of the Trinidad State College Basketball Tournament. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Woody's the High Desert Hunting Company is based outside of beautiful Aguilar, Colorado at the foot of the Spanish Peaks. Their specialty is one-on-one -on -one guided hunting adventures targeting your once-in-a-lifetime trophy animal. Originally known as Zelly's Hunting Club when it was founded in the 1930s, the modern-day High Desert Hunting Company also specializes in leasing and managing high-quality private ranches for big-game trophy hunts, bringing in clients from all over the world and bringing money into Los Animas County. Give them a call today. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, 
driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. Big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. Al's Gas Service has proudly served the Trinidad and surrounding area since 1964. With over 95 years of combined industry experience, we not only deliver propane, but we also sell, install, and service a wide variety of heating and air conditioning appliances. Stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer with Al's Gas Service. Give us a call today at 719-846-6022. We know life takes you many places, and Branson School Online is here to ensure you receive a quality education wherever you are. Families work with experienced, Colorado-licensed teachers in small class sizes, and with flexible schedules and customized learning plans, there's no reason not to join Branson School Online today. Visit our website and press the Apply Now button to begin the quick and easy process. For more information, please visit BransonSchoolOnline.com or call toll-free at 888-863-7850. All right, folks, welcome back. We got about five minutes to go. We're going to bring to you the Gub Gub's Pizza and Ice Cream Halftime Report. Really, it was a tale of two quarters. At the end of the first quarter, it was still a two-point ball game. And then in the second quarter is when the Primero Bulldogs just kind of put on the gas and held, held the Walsh. Panthers, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm watching these two teams warm up and it's hard to watch and talk at the same time. I just need to not watch the players. All right, anyway, the Panthers just kind of got shut down by the stingy defense of the Bulldogs in the second quarter. The scoring thus far leading the Walsenburg Panthers is Bobian with seven points, Padilla with two, and Martinez with two on the... Primero side of the ball, leading all scorers, Isabella Maldonado with 15, Aliciana Garcia with six, also with six, Jocelyn Rivera, one point in front of him, Ace Amy Mincic with seven, and then each with two points in the contest, Jalisa Atkins and Skylar McCorkle. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments both squads can come up with here in the second half of play and we will do our best to continue to bring you to action here. Immediately following this game, there will be about a 10, maybe 15 minute break before we start the second game of the day featuring the, the guys' side of the bracket. We're gonna have the Trinidad Miners taking on the Primera Bulldogs. And by just judging by the athletes taking the court, looks like we're gonna have two pretty evenly matched squads. So. Be sure to stay right here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. All right, we're gonna hear from a couple more of our sponsors. Still got a few minutes to go before we start in the third quarter. Destiny, any thoughts about what you've seen transpire here in this first game of play? You know, honestly, this has been a really good game so far. I think that all the teams have been doing a good job. And I just think that I wanna shout out what's it called? Um, what, the Panthers, are they? Yep. Walsenberg? Yeah, for hitting those th um, three-pointers. They've been pretty good at hitting those buckets. Yeah, you got to admire the confidence just to pull the trigger. Yeah. You know, it's extra tricky on this Trinidad College court with the extra three-point lines. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of three-point shots here, especially at this tournament, fall short because, you know, high school shooters are used to the high school three-point line. Well, here you've got the ladies' college line and the men's college line, and you'll see the these high school shooters lining up two to three feet farther back than what they're used to. Yeah. And that ends up in a lot of short three-pointers. So mm -hmm. when they start getting hot, it sure is fun to watch. Yeah. All righty, three minutes to go. We'll hear from a couple more sponsors, and then we'll be back right for more action here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. Christmas season is here, and at Coley's Cakes and Pastries, the holidays are in full swing. Stop by our location on Commercial Street for a sweet treat or place a pre-order for any of our fantastic Christmas-themed cookies and cakes. Coley's also offers desserts for all occasions, including weddings and graduations, along with birthday parties. 
If you need a treat to welcome in the holidays, stop by Coley's, the best bakery in Southern Colorado. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, paddle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Al's Gas Service has proudly served the Trinidad and surrounding area since 1964. With over 95 years of combined industry experience, we not only deliver propane, but we also sell, install, and service a wide variety of heating and air conditioning appliances. Stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer with Al's Gas Service. Give us a call today at 719-846-6022. All right, we got about a minute left. Wanted to just take a minute to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so and find us and follow us on Facebook. That is the best way to stay up to date. As I was saying, if you haven't already done so, you can find us on Facebook and YouTube. Obviously, you're here on YouTube. If you haven't already, already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's easy, it's fun, it's free, and it's the best way to stay up to date when we actually go live. If you go ahead and turn on notifications for our channel and have notifications enabled on your phone, you'll get a nice little gentle reminder that the game, that we have a new game going live right then and there so you don't miss any of the action. And Facebook is where we post all of the YouTube links, usually the morning of the game, so you can quickly find it, get right there. And we keep everything on YouTube, so it's easy to find. All you gotta do is head to YouTube, search for Saddle Rock Sports, and then the name of the team you're looking for. So today, had you gone to Saddle Rock Sports, or gone to YouTube, search for Saddle Rock Sports Walsenburg, or Saddle Rock Sports Primero, you would have found this game come right up as a live game or an upcoming game and it's easy on any device. That's why we do what we do. Keeping it easy for you at home to follow along. You can listen along in your car, or maybe you're uh, at your office place of business, can't quite make it to the game in person, or if you're a player athlete watching after the fact, doing a little analysis, maybe gathering some stats, you're ready to go. And she's joining us again, Destiny Archuleta. Working the color commentary. Back to action. Bobian, quick out of the gun, finds Ruiz. She swings it over to Padilla. Padilla rein, reins it in. Up, errant pass picked up by Rivera. Gets it out to number 11, Atkins. And that ball poked away. That's going to remain Bulldog ball. Amy Mincic with it now. Going to go to work. Drives into the paint. Dishes over to Atkins. She tried to get it inside and didn't quite find the mark. That'll be Panther basketball. Ruiz going to work on the left side. Guarded 11 on 11 there. Atkins 
that side of her 2-3 zone. Ruiz's shot just short. McCorkle with the board. Tries to get it to Rivera. Going to be tipped away by the Panthers. Remains Bulldog ball. Mincic again coming up over to Atkins. Maldonado with it. Two dribbles. Right side jumper, no good. Stumbling off balance shot by Mincic. They're going to call it a foul in the process of shooting. Now, I don't know that I would agree with that call. She was kind of falling out of bounds or off balance in a backwards motion. The defender really wasn't actively pushing into her. So I would have probably not called that one a foul. What do you think, Destiny? Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should have a section, a segment called uh, Destiny the Ref. <laughs> the Ref. Destiny puts on the stripes. Call by Destiny. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Ruiz back to Bobie, and she has a lane. She's driving in. Left side elbow jumper just off the mark. Rivera with the board, finds Mincic. She's got Atkins ahead of her. Left side jumper in and out. Atkins with the board. Kicks it out to Maldonado. She's going to swing it up top to Mincic. Rivera now three ball attempt. Just off. And that's going to be Bobie kind of playing a little defense and Got her with a little bit of leg. Good move in wrestling, not so much in <laughs> basketball. Maldonado has it tipped out of bounds, remains Primero ball. Mincic working it around left side. Rivera comes up with the loose ball. They swing it around. Maldonado finds a cutting Atkins. 4-2. 41-11 is now your score. I believe we are at the sportsmanship clock. Mark, once a team gets a 30-point lead, the clock will run. It's either 30 or 35. And the way it works is the clock doesn't stop. Oh, the clock is still stopping, so they must be going to 35 points. But once that is initiated, time only stops for timeouts. Bobian has it guarded tight by Mincic. Ruiz now, deep left corner. Bobian working it back around to the right side. She finds, looking for Padilla. Pass gets stolen by Atkins. Here comes Mincic. Bobian, tough thing to do, deciding when to foul on that transition bucket. That's her fourth foul. Difficult situation for the point guard. Now with four fouls, a lot of times, Destiny, in these kind of situations, you're going to see the refs not call that fifth foul mm -hmm. unless it's super egregious or violent, especially when you have only five players on the bench. Yeah. If I were the coach, I'd be telling them to take it easy because you can't risk one player going out. Oh, absolutely. And that's one of those lessons that this Panther team with limited numbers and other teams in this tournament with limited numbers have to learn is how do you still play aggressive defense but not give away fouls as you're going for steals, as you're trying to body somebody up. It's really an interesting skill to master. And sometimes you have to effectively not play tough defense. Mm -hmm. You have to give up a layup. Because you can give away points, but you can't give away fouls. Actually, they say you can get back points, but you can't get back fouls. <laughs> Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying it right. I'm not, I don't I'm know. not wrong. <laughs> Inlet pass to Martinez. Maldonado with the block. 
to quote Brock Brunelli, she said, no, no, no. <laughs> And here comes Garcia. Gets it up to Atkins. Inlet pass broken up by Lesser. Here comes Bobian. She's going to have a chance. And she's fouled on the shot. She'll get to the line. She hits the floor hard. Taking a minute just to gather herself. I think she kind of rolled down. We're going to take a quick break as she's 10 to 2, and let's hear from one of our Primero area sponsors, Al's Gas. Al's Gas Service has proudly served the Trinidad and surrounding area since 1964. With over 95 years of combined industry experience, we not only deliver propane, but we also sell, install, and service a wide variety of heating and air conditioning appliances. Stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer with Al's Gas Service. Give us a call today at 719-846-6022. Yeah. Christmas season is here, and at Coley's Cakes and Pastries, the holidays are in full swing. Stop by our location on Commercial Street for a sweet treat, or place a pre-order for any of our fantastic Christmas-themed cookies and cakes. A minute, referees discussing with head coach, Coach Barry, Lester Barry, uh, the situation, making sure she's going to be all right and that they are still good to go. You know, we've been in situations with limited numbers in the Kim Branson area before where we've had to field teams with four players after foul trouble. Or there was one legendary game where Branson played Honey and it came down to the wire. It was three on five, Branson playing Honey in their home Branson gym and almost won the game three on five. It came down to a last second shot that Branson missed. Happened the year before my family moved back in. Guess the year, what, what year do you think my family moved back to Branson, Destiny, when I was a junior in high school? You were a junior in high school, so I'm guessing like I don't want to take the wrong guess and accidentally call you old. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I'm 48 years old, so I, there's nothing young about 48. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not 65 yet. Or 85. So I still got a couple of decades in me. That would have been 1992. Oh wow. Yeah, we moved to Branson in '92. Second shot just off the mark. Appreciate the toughness of Bobian and these Walsenberg Panthers. Oh, we had a player down on the floor. That's Deja Lesser. Going to get tended to. I think we have something else going on. A little tough injury happening. We're going to take another break here. Here from uh, Lovato Concrete. Lovato Concrete is a multi-generational family business that has proudly been serving its community for over 30 years. Lovato Concrete specializes in all types of concrete, including foundations, walls, sidewalks, slabs, driveways, and decorative stamped concrete. Big enough to handle large commercial projects, but caring enough to take pride in residential projects too. They'll get your project done right. Give them a call today at 719-680-8512. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. 
Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. The High Desert Hunting Company is based outside of beautiful Aguilar, Colorado at the foot of the Spanish Peaks. Their specialty is one-on-one -on -one guided hunting adventures targeting your once-in-a-lifetime trophy animal. Originally known as Zelly's Hunting Club when it was founded in the 1930s, the modern-day High Desert Hunting Company also specializes in leasing and managing high-quality private ranches for big game trophy hunts, bringing in clients from all over the world and bringing money into Los Animas County. Give them a call today. All right, folks, as we come back, Deja Lesser is being helped off the floor. Looks like she has a some a, an ankle injury, potentially up going for a rebound, came down, landed on somebody's foot, rolled her ankle pretty severely. She's able to be helped off. Walselberg is going to continue. They have four players on the floor. And this is really classy. Scan the camera over here. Primero is only actively playing four girls. They have a fifth girl on the floor that they're not playing. I've never seen a team willingly do that. Maldonado with the bucket. And they're alternating which girl plays on a possession. Hats off, hats off to coach Mark Martinez and how he's choosing to effectively still play four on four because you have to have five players on the floor or else it's a technical foul. So he's having one player sit out all the time. One of the classiest, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> Bobian sinks her first. Here come the Bulldogs, Maldonado on the break. Garcia not quite able to handle the pass. Here comes Bobian turning on the Jets, guarded by Atkins. Picks up her dribble, dribble looking for help. Martinez calling for it, gets it. Jumper at the free throw line is good for Antonia Martinez. Here comes Garcia, handling the ball. Bobian's quick hands get in there, a little defensive. Padilla picks it up and steps out of bounds, trying to corral it. That'll be Primera ball underneath. Shot by Rivera is good. Padilla has it driving right. Shot blocked by Atkins. Monarco with the board, looking for help. She's gonna take it herself. Maldonado, turnaround J is good from the right corner. Bobian to Ruiz. Back to Bobian on the left side. She's going to drive in, take the shot. Floater just off the mark. And Padilla realizing she needed to let go of that. They're actually going to call that a jump ball. There was a hand on the other side of that ball. So possession arrow this time in favor of the Panthers. Bobian. Kind of stuck, she finds Ruiz. Oh, just in and out. Here comes Garcia. Layup in the middle, no good. Maldonado puts it back.
Bobian driving baseline, has the floater. Oh, just short. Monarco's layup, no good. Garcia's put back is. Just a couple seconds to go here in the third period. And that'll bring us to the end of three. And we'll take a little break to hear from, actually we'll just keep it right here. I wanna tell you about one of our new sponsors we picked up this tournament, Gub Gub's Pizza and Ice Cream out of Walsenburg, a relatively new establishment. They purchased a gas station right there in downtown Walsenburg and converted it into one of the coolest pizza and ice cream shops in Southern Colorado. Stop by, you will not be disappointed. Handcrafted pizza, lots of yummy frozen and non-frozen treats. Stop by and you will definitely enjoy what you find there at Gub Gubs. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram. You can even order ahead if you would like. Thank you to Gub Gubs for sponsoring these, all the broadcasts featuring the Lady Walsenberg Panthers. Proud of their Lady Panthers and proud of all of these athletes here in Southern Colorado. Thank you, Gub Gubs, for your support. And with the lead being as substantial as it is, the sportsmanship clock has been started. It will only stop for official timeouts or player injuries. Normal times like free throws or inbound situations, the clock will continue to run. Players in foul trouble, we have on the floor, Bobian has four. Also Lesser had four but again, not on the floor due to that ankle injury. Amy Mincic, nice take. Ruiz with a strong rebound. Primero still running the very classy four on four offense. Couple of substitutions for Primero. We got some new younger players in. Looks like we have number 35, right? Rhiannon Ferraro, or Rainin, she's a freshman. I see number 32, Cassidy Houston, a sophomore out there, as well as number 12, Jonalyn Bakaboe. Nice shot by Ferraro, just off the mark. Bobian comes up with the board. Minute into the fourth quarter here. Padilla's gonna drive to the center of the paint, squares up, just misses her shot. Bodies on the floor, they'll call a jump ball. Possession belongs to Walsenberg. Ruiz is gonna inbounds it underneath the baseline. Bobian gets her board and a putback. She has 10 points thus far. Atkins with the ball. Long three ball comes up a little short. Padilla with the rebound. Here comes Padilla. Bobby and working the left side. Drives baseline all the way. Padilla's gonna back it out. They're gonna reset and try to attack again. A little back and forth. Padilla's shot off the mark. And here comes Mincic again. She's gonna drive the left side. And that foul is gonna be on Miss Ruiz, her second foul of the afternoon. You'll see the clock continue to run. Five minutes to go. 
So if you're getting ready for the guys game to follow as Mincic cashes in on her first, they will probably put 10, possibly 15 minutes up on the intermission clock before we get the next one started. It will most likely start before four o'clock as originally scheduled. Whenever it starts, we'll be live and ready for you. Destiny, have you ever been on a sports team where you've had to play shorthanded like the Walsenburg ladies are having to do right now? Um, I feel like that was like our volleyball team this year because we didn't have too many subs. So it was kind of hard for all the starters. Padilla's bucket is good. That's four for her thus far today. Romero doing a good job, kind of good ball movement. Younger players looking for an open shot. That shot in by Ferraro just off the mark. Padilla going to work, she's going across. You know, Padilla's a more confident ball handler. That deep three <laughs> just off. You know, this late into a game, no breaks. Uh, you you kind of expect to see this where shots end up falling short just because you're tired, you're gassed. Mm -hmm. You know, no, no subs for a timeout. Back in my day, <laughs> when we played high school back in the late 90s when Branson still had their own squad, didn't have to co-op, we uh, fielded teams with seven guys. Junior, or my junior year, we had seven guys. And, and even though I came off the bench, we all played a lot and were very tired. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best shape I've ever been in my <laughs> whole life. Oh, my gosh. And I remember just dragging at the end of games. <laughs> Primero's got the ball coming out of that timeout. Three and a half to go. Loose ball, Bobby, and still lots of energy. That's number 12, Baca Bowie. A little bit off the mark, but you know what? I love seeing young players shoot. That's the only way you're going to gain confidence as a shooter is to shoot it. And it might not make it, but you know what? That's okay. The next one might. Nice little pass to Martinez. Martinez with another bucket to give the Panthers 20 on the afternoon. She's got six points here in the contest. Atkins shot just off the mark, hits the back iron. Ruiz finds Bobian. Two and a half to go here in the contest. Here comes Padilla. Dribbles down into that corner. Three ball attempt is good. Bobby and finding her range. You know what I said about getting tired at the end of the games? I don't think she heard me. No, she did she, not. She did not hear me. <laughs> she said, you know what, Brad, that's not my truth. I'm going to knock this down right here. Ferraro working the ball around. That's number 32, Houston. Guarded by Padilla. Mincic driving in, gets her own board. She's going to try to put it up again and gets it to go. Minute and a half. Ruiz is going to drive into the paint. She finds Padilla. Padilla's going to pull the trigger. Finds the bottom of the nylon. She's got six. Bobian picks the pocket of Atkins. She's going to go in and get hammered. Clock's going to continue to run as the free throws tick away. They won't let time expire. Oh, they're going to call it on the floor. Not a shooting foul. Just going to let them play it out. Good call. I appreciate that. 
Bobian comes up with the ball guarded by Atkins. Quick pass into Ruiz. Oh, I thought that was gonna fall. Ferraro with the board. Atkins bring the ball down for her squad. Knocked out of bounds by Bobby, and that remains Primero ball. 45 seconds to go here in the first game of day three of the TSC tournament. Ferraro's got a shot. She gets it in to 35. I'm sorry, that is Ferraro. Wow, look at the knee <laughs> flexibility there. I need, I need like yoga just to feel better from that, just by watching it. Oh my goodness. That was Ferraro. Sign her up to be a yoga instructor. Atkins shot falls short. Martinez with the board. 12 seconds left. Ruiz has it. Back to the point guard, Bobian. I think she's gonna, just going to dribble it out. And that brings us to the conclusion of this first game. Final score, 57 to 25. This will be interesting to see what the condition of Deja Lesser is and what that means for Walsenberg in what would be Saturday's game. She is still kind of hobbling one-footed, keeping that right leg up off, keeping that ankle off the ground. Again, there's no way that we know the severity of that injury. If they only have four active players, I don't know what that will mean for their opponents and we won't find out who their opponents would be until tomorrow. Thank you for watching this first game. Destiny, any closing thoughts before we wrap up this particular broadcast? Uh, no, just tune into our next game. All right, and the best way to do that again, this just this video will end. Go back to the Saddle Rock Sports channel and you will see the next upcoming game which is Primero Men taking on the Trinidad Men. It'll be live here in about 18 minutes is what they put on the clock. So it will start right about 4 o'clock. And a little scoring summary here. Before we totally wrap it up, finishing the game with 17 points is leading all scorers, Isabella Maldonado. 13 by Amy Mincic. 8 by Aliciana Garcia. Also with 8, Jocelyn Rivera. And both coming in with four points apiece, Skylar McCorkle and Jaleesa Atkins. On the Panther side of the ball, Bobian finished with 13. Padilla with six and also with six, Monet, I'm sorry, that's uh, <laughs> Antonia Martinez. Have a fantastic rest of your viewing experience and we hope to see you right here back at the next ball game on the Saddle Rock Sports Network.